guys, it's Dan here, and you know what? You cannot make films alone. Well, you can, but great filmmaking comes as a result of collaboration. So in today's video, I want to share a bit of background on how I've collaborated with some really amazing filmmakers over the years, and how that power of collaboration ends up giving you a much greater product, because the sum of the parts is always greater than its components. I've done a lot of work with uh, James Tonkin at Hangman Studios and Mick Jones over at Filthy Look in Sydney. And in today's episode, I'm going to share some examples of some of those stories and some of those uh, example films to help you get an idea of hopefully and to inspire you that, that working with others is always a brilliant idea. It, it is something that when you learn to let go of the creative control yourself and you, and you work with other people, it, you always end up with a much greater product. As always, please do subscribe, hit the bell so you get the notifications. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. So I hope you enjoy this episode and I'll see you on the other side. Filmmaking is something that you can absolutely do on your own. One of the most wonderful things about it is if you have a camera and an idea and an eye, you can go out and create a beautiful film. However, there's only so much you can do as a solo filmmaker. And it's my view that making great films is not in fact a solo pursuit. If you want to make really, really great content, then I recommend you collaborate. I like other creative 200 millimeters as opposed to eight. One of the things I've done as a director of photography and as a producer is always work with people who are better than me. You learn so much by observing somebody else's work. A big breakthrough I had was when I moved more from, you know, photography, director of photography to working as a producer. I recognized that I had to let go of some of the aspects in order for me to grow. So, you know, for a while you think that the way you shoot is you know, unique to you and, and it's, it's a style that you become attached to. But what I found when I started working with other really talented shooters was I got to bring in great talent and, and share the creative process with someone else. And what I found is the more you share the creative process with other people that you like and trust, the sum of the parts creates a greater product than if it's just one person's idea. Now I've done this many, many times with multiple productions. And I wanna share some insights as to what has worked and, and, and some tips on how to make the partnership work really well. So one of the first things that I think is really important with a partnership in filmmaking is be very clear about defined roles. You can't have two directors. You can't have two cinematographers. What you can have is a director and a cinematographer and assume those roles and you can ask each other for guidance but you need to have very clearly defined roles for that to work the first project i collaborated on was with james tonkin from hangman studios and we went to istanbul to film a project for sony now what we were able to do was we were creating multiple pieces of content we were creating a behind the scenes film of how to uh, work with this particular camera but also a beauty film and we worked together really well and it became the beginning of an amazing relationship in fact we filmed in Istanbul for that project and um, we then went on to make a project for a camera called the FS100 it was a blu-ray DVD and we filmed all over Europe together and we traveled as a very very small crew through different parts of Europe to film with amazing filmmakers and create this wonderful film for Sony in the UK. From then, we moved on to working on the FS7 launch film in Japan. And this was a project where we had to produce three different films. We produced a beauty film in HD. We produced a beauty film in 4K and a behind the scenes film. Now, what was amazing about this is we had two distinct projects to work on. So we came up with a creative brief on hand painting a kimono, which is an ancient tradition. And these, are, these kimonos can cost $30,000. Um, very, very expensive, beautifully made. And so we crafted this story about the craftsmanship 
of making one of these. And what we were able to do was I was lighting the shots and helping to construct the narrative and James was on camera operating and directing the action. Now, James and I collaborated many, many times and it became a, a beautiful relationship that we're still friends today, but we always had very clear roles on production. Now, another project I did in the same year was for the A7S launch film. And that was a very, very small crew. In fact, it's myself and a photographer called Drew Gardner. And the reason that I asked Drew to get involved in that project was Drew is an incredible commercial photographer, does these incredible portraits. And I wanted to bring a photographer's perspective into using, you know, a small camera. Um, and so we, we traveled to a town not far from where I grew up in Scotland called Arbroath where they, they smoke fish in barrels on the beach. And I thought this would be an incredible story to tell. Um, and so we went out with this camera and we shot for three days in a very, very small location, very, very small crew, and, and made the, the fisherman film, which was really well received. We then had to go to Japan very, very quickly uh, and film the 4K version of the, the project. And so we flew out to Tokyo and over to Kanazawa and we filmed in uh, the Sakura, which is the uh, cherry blossom season in Japan. It was an amazing model and um, we filmed walking around this temple. Um, again, a very challenging shoot because at that time, the only way to get a 4K signal out of that camera was through an external recorder and that was a very large external recorder and plugged into a generator. So we had some, some challenges there, but between myself and Drew, we were able to coordinate and produce what I think is a very beautiful film. And again, his perspective on photography meant that there was a certain character and a certain composition to the shots. And so this is one of the benefits of collaborating is you get to see how other people work. Another project that I worked with a collaborator on was uh, the FS5 launch film, which we shot in Sydney, Australia. And that was with Mick Jones from Filthy Look Films. And Mick, again, is a very accomplished filmmaker. And um, by working with him and his company, we were able to allow him to create a look for a film that involved a surfer and skateboarders in a genre that he was very comfortable with. And in that environment, his team brought in all of the crew, coordinated all of the locations. And so as a producer, I was able to liaise with the client, work on the content. And when we make these films, we're making multiple pieces of content. We've got beauty films, we've got behind the scenes films, we've got technical films, we've got films that show off a specific feature of a camera. And oftentimes what people don't realize when you're making these films is, you're making it for a global audience. And so there are lots of considerations as a producer on the kind of content you can film, the story you can tell. You don't want to offend any culture. So it can be a very um, complex situation with multiple stakeholders. And so if you're trying to do everything yourself, you simply, you simply can't. So the way that we do that is by coordinating, working with people on set, having great relationships, allowing them to do their job, and you can focus on liaising with the client, making sure the content's in place. And again, having a very solid plan that you work to, you know, on set, we typically never make anything up. Every single shot has been thought about, down to the lens choice, down to the location, where it's gonna be. We practice everything. We work out what our schedule is for the day, how long it's gonna to take to do something, how long we allow for something. And, and that way, everyone's working to a very, very tight frame. Really, the, the collaborative part of, of filmmaking is for me, the most beautiful part. You, you get to work with talented people, you get to learn from talented people, and you get to see how things are done from someone else's perspective. And the sum of the parts is always greater than the solo pursuit of a single filmmaker. So if you've not yet collaborated, I hope you find some inspiration in this to, to try it because it is always a beautiful experience.